Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and uh, this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising uh, weekly tarot reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, once again I want to remind you guys that this is just a general reading for Aries star sign and it is not a personal reading of yours Therefore, uh, I will do here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, as well their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. So with that being said, uh, going for the tarot card spread first, consisting um, <coughs> containing four cards and the first card that we do have for Aries marking the topic of Aries this week is going to be the moon card followed by the second card which is about the uh, core of their situation that will be the wheel of fortune then what we do have is the third card which is the uh, challenges that are causing predicaments here that will be the queen of swords and the last one which is the guidance the tarot is offering for Aries throughout this uh, week uh, that is to be the two of swords and before we go with to those uh, four cards guys um, <clears throat> I want to announce you that there are uh, Christmas sales uh, on my website for 30 minutes and for 20 minutes reading uh, readings it basically um, <clears throat> abates the price with around 10% or something it's no it's more than 10 yeah it's let's say 10% so, uh, yeah, that being said, if you are interested in a uh, personal reading with me, this is the way you do it. Go to my website, listed down below in the description of this video, and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. But let's go to the reading now for the week. Now, as you can see here, we do have the moon card, which is the topic of the week. Uh, because this is the um, the general outlook, it does look like the two Aries may may feel yourself a little bit unsettled, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. <clears throat> this card points that you may not kind of like experience what you have imagined to experience uh, the very least, and uh, you are to be prone to daydream a little bit more than uh, than you have to, and. Uh, <clears throat> By looking at these cards, that daydreaming could uh, jeopardize uh, your place, especially talking about career, and uh, as well, uh, this particular state could make you way too naive as well, especially if we're talking about career, and thus you may fall under a certain influence of more powerful people or you may become a victim of a certain fraudulent schemes or just being used for a, a foreign means and not your personal means and uh, the point of that you are finding yourself into such a uh, unsettling place or unsettling state throughout this week it is because the week itself it is unlikely to offer you much to do in a sense of that there won't be much of a direction for you to throw your efforts at <clears throat> and that, that that will be the very um, the very core here which is going to make you think most likely that you know your relationship may be jeopardized or your place at work may be jeopardized as well and as I said this is just how you think right and the fact why this is happening is because we do have the core of the situation here, the Wheel of Fortune, which points to that the important matters that you had to attend to already happened, literally. And now it is um, it is the time where you just have to go with the flow, right? It's, it's the, this specific week is not a week where you have to put behind a, a tremendous effort here or um, bury yourself beneath a, a lot of toils to execute. It's just this week for your Aries is it is just you know observing uh, what are the results of your previous actions actions that uh, you have incorporated in your daily routine in the previous weeks uh, of uh, of your enterprises or of your undertakings for that matter uh, the wheel of fortune here points that because you are you 
probably were, were finding yourself quite busy in the previous week and now the business is kind of starting to lose here and you are kind of experiencing more free time or you are stumbling to more free time you know or uh, if we're talking about relationship here is because you had so many enterprises with uh, your partner and now throughout this week you aren't going to find that many enterprises in it uh, it make you these facts are what makes you feel unsettled and what makes you feel rather um, insecure was the right term that I was trying to uh, to find. Nonetheless, these cards, guys, are pointing that, as I said, that week you you just need to believe in the universe. You, if you believe in it, you know, or you believe in a higher power or whatever, and just let yourself to go with the current. <clears throat> One more thing that you can capitalize on throughout this. Uh, specific week is to examine yourself and dive even deeper into your subconscious level if that means anything to you because I for sure know that it doesn't mean anything to many people and by you diving yourself into the deeper level of your subconscious you are likely to boost your intuition so that is a week where you should as well follow your intuition now what we do have here however it is also a part of an argument that you're going to take in participate and uh, that you're going to take participation in queen of swords sitting as a person that you need to overcome that it is causing predicaments here the queen of swords it is uh, kind of like quite an yell type of person seemingly knowing all or rather like for that person I'm not saying a woman because it could be as well, as well a male that has more feminine energy around them and as the Queen of Swords the Swords cards in general are associated with air that could be you know Aquarius Libra or Gemini star sign or just may have a lot of planets in those in the houses represented with those signs you know I don't like to go by with uh, those kind of uh, criterias for these people but um, <clears throat> it is basically a logically oriented person that does not give too much crap about what people feel and how they feel in general because these people hardly feel anything for them everything is practical it has a simple solution it needs to be followed a, a certain plan in order to you know reach rather satisfied results what is uh, hard to overcome with the queen of swords is that usually those people might well, that will by that car they had a, a very poignant similar experience in their past and now it's very tough for them to open for uh, to open their mind should I say that way for a, a different possibilities or for for a possibility that they have been wrong in the past well I would try to explain that way let's say that they have in, involved themselves into a similar project in the past and that project fail therefore if they are to involve themselves into a similar project today the same kind of project today with you they are to think for a completely different approach from what the approach they did in the past but that doesn't necessarily mean that the approach from the past was the wrong one maybe they were unprepared at that time maybe they didn't have that information that they have right now etc etc just basically these are people that will are determined not to repeat a, an old mistake back again and these situations throughout this week are going to make them feel uncomfortable as well for that uh, the situation is developing exactly as it was developing back in the past and you need to convince them that that is not true so that will be the predicament and uh, this is very well displayed here with the two of swords pointing to the um, guidance that you should adopt and uh, this card connects to the uh, combining of opinions especially having the queen of swords next to it we do have two swords balanced equally from each side of the woman which points to the to either of the opinions or either of the ways or either of the thoughts has equal measures or it has equal weight therefore a, a common ground can be uh, reached can be accessed very mm, a very productive card in case you do have a lot of rangos into your um, you know marriage or in between co-workers as well 
in between friends this is a sure sign here as a guidance that you can definitely reach a common ground with them and you kind of like combine opinions and uh, stop the wrangles and the disagreements but in order to do so you need to consider also their points of view and as soon as you do so uh, you are to see that they are not uh, entirely uh, wrong and that will instantly make you not entirely correct as well so it's all about making compromises so literally that is the tarot reading here I mean um, just to summarize all that you, you you got to have a little bit more faith in the results of what you have been, done recently and additionally to that you know try to um, convince that unyielding person that actually what you are about to do with them is going to work this time around so that being said going to the uh, Lenormand reading now uh, which is to show us a event that it is likely to happen to you Aries that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid now the first card that we do have this is the path oh, and the path symbolizes choices also it may stand for uh, the other way around or kind of like a, a additional option available then the next card that we do have this is the bucket and the bucket stands for good fortune bonuses and uh, happy times in general and then what we do have this is the book it is the third card which stands for secret it stands for knowledge <clears throat> and sometimes it may stand for documents as well so what we do have is that a, a very well-defined additional option available is what is to bring you into success so that is if i have to literally translate the message we do have an additional option available which is successful through an information so uh, basically i the information that you do have is going to allow you to hear kind of like um, reach a common ground with that person is their worries because um, if you kind of have that person as a uh, uh, as a uh, um, ally rather than an enemy uh, they are very powerful I mean that woman or woman or a man a person in general they really know how to push things through uh, very um, tenacious and very pushy they always maximize the the benefits that can be extracted from one enterprise it's just this time around because they had a poignant experience with a similar enterprise in the past may obstruct them a little bit but now the circumstances are different and that will be your job here to uncover this mystery for them so the new option available that is going to offer you bonuses um, gains you know and success is ge in general is to open for you both so that being said there is this this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again uh this was just a general reading for aries star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore uh, i did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy and spread but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and while you do so don't forget to uh, that there are a, a Christmas sales now concerning the 20 minutes and the 30 minutes reading which are to sell to, to save you around a 10% a of the cost so yeah that being said said Rat signing up now see you next time bye